What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the AND instruction, so let's get started. Now the AND instruction performs a boolean bitwise AND operation between each pair of matching bits in two operands and places the result in a destination operand. Let me show you how that works. Now up here, this is a syntax of the AND operation. We start off by typing AND first, hit space, we type in our destination operand, hit comma, then we hit space and we type in our source operand. You guys want to make sure both operands are the same size. This is very important. Now, if you're working with an 8 bit operand, both operands have to be 8 bits. If you're working with a 16 bit value, both operands have to be 16 bits, and so on and so forth. Now, this is the different combinations of the AND operation here. Now, we can AND one register to another register, right? But both registers, again, have to be the same size. We can end a register into memory, but again, both registers and memory have to be the same size. We can end re registers into immediate values. Again, both the register and immediate value have to be the same size. We can end memory into a register. Again, both memory and register have to be the same size. And we can end memory into immediate value. Again, immediate value and memory have to be the same size. Now, let me show you how uh, the AND operation works. Now, it starts out by comparing two bits, right? It's the, the source operand and the destination operand. If both bits are zero, the result will be a zero. If one bit is zero and one bit is one, the result will be zero. If the first operand is one and the second operand is zero, the result will be zero. The only time you'll ever get a one as a result is if both operands have a one bit. So then, Two one bits will give you a one, otherwise everything else is zero. So let me just give you guys an example of that right now. Let's say we had zero, 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 that's four, five, six, let's make another zero, then a one, right? This is an eight bit operand here, eight bit Boolean value, and uh, it has a value of one, right? Now, let's say we're anding another eight bit uh, Boolean value down here. Let's say we, let's type in zero, 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 Let's make this a 1, 0, 1, right? Now, the result of this here, let's go back. Now, two zeros again make a 0, right? Two zeros make a 0, two zeros make a 0, two zeros make a 0, two zeros make a 0. One zero and one uh, one make a 0. Two zeros make a 0. Now, when we get to a point where there are two 1 bits, then that's the only time you, the result will have a 1. So, when you end this with this, you get this one. So here, this is uh, th this has a value of one, right? This boolean value is a value of one here. Over here, this boolean value has a value of let's say one. This is the second bit. This is the third bit, which is a four. So four and one is five, right? So this has a value of five. This and then when you and five and one, you get a one. Pretty neat, right? All right, let's open up MU8086, right? Let's first start off by moving some values in some 8-bit registers. So let's move into, let's say, AH, a Boolean value of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? That's an 8-bit value. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this is a 1 in, in binary, right? So now let's move into, let's say, BH, because BH is another 8-bit register. Let's move zero 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 zero. Oh, let's make this a one zero zero one. Actually, let's use the same example that we used before. Let's make this a zero, and let's make this a one. Right. So now we know this is one. We know this is five in binary, right? But when we end the two together, we should get the result of a one. So let's and. AH, because AH is going to be the destination operand, so AH is going to store the AND uh, results. Use a comma, then we want to end it with BH, right? So let's hit emulate. Now, first step here, we're going to move into AH, the binary. Oops, you know what I forgot to do? Let's close this here. I forgot to add B to, at the end of this 8-bit uh, binary value here, because uh, we, that'll let the program know that this is a binary uh, value. And uh, we have to do the same thing with this one here. So when you're working with binary values, you make sure you use a B at the end. If you're working with hexadecimals, you make sure you use the H, and so on and so forth. Let's hit emulate. Our first step here is going to move a binary value of 1 into AH, right? So let's hit next step. 
as you can see, AH over here has a value of 1. Now the second step should move a value of 5 into BH, right? So let's hit next step. BH here has a value of 5, right? Now we're highlighting the AND operation over here. Once, once I hit next step, it's going to AND the AH and BH, and it's going to store the results in AH, because AH is the destination upper end, remember? So let's hit next step. And as you can see, AH here has a value of 1, because when we ANDed it to, uh, the result was 1. Let's let's go over what we did. See here, 0 and 0 make a 0, right? 0 and 0 make a 0, 0, 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 1 make a 0, 0, 0 make a 0, 1 and 1 make a 1. So the result would be a 1 when you end both operands. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.